how to host a vanilla Minecraft Bedrock Edition server on an Ubuntu server. The first thing you're going to need to do is pick a host to install your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server onto. The host that I'm going to be using today is called Vulture and if you also would like to use Vulture this is my referral link. I'll be putting this in the description below. If you use this link you'll be able to test Vulture servers for free for one month. You'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money. Alright guys once you've clicked on my referral link you'll be taken to Vulture.com. Once you're here you'll need to enter your email address, pick a password and then create your account. Once you've created your account you'll be logged in I'm already logged in and I already have an account. You'll then most likely be taken to the billing page where you'll see the credits that you get from using my referral link. Here you'll need to connect either your PayPal account or link up a card of your preference. Once you've done that, you'll receive the free credits. And now we're ready to deploy our server. So all you need to do is go to the top left hand side here and click on products. Once you're on products, navigate to the right hand side here and click on the big plus symbol here. Left click on it. And now you'll be brought to the deploy a new instance page. Here you'll need to choose your server type. I'm going to go with cloud compute, which is automatically selected by default. Scroll down and now you'll have access to the server location. Pick the server location that's closest to you so that you get the highest ping when you connect to your server. I'm going to go with London United Kingdom as that's the closest server to me. Continue scrolling down and then you'll need to pick the server type. This tutorial is about Ubuntu, so that's the operating system we're going to choose. So left click on Ubuntu and choose the latest version. At the current making of this video, 20.04 x64 is the latest version of Ubuntu. Left click on this and then continue scrolling down. Here you'll need to choose your server size. Since you're just testing out the server, I recommend going with the smallest size possible. However, you do need a minimum of one gigabyte of memory. Therefore, the $5 a month VPS should be enough to host you and your friends. You also get 25 gigabyte SSD and 1000 GB bandwidth and one CPU. So I'm just going to left click on this and then continue scrolling down where you'll have some additional features here which I'm not going to select. You'll have the ability to add a startup script and SSH keys. Again, I'm not going to enter these and here you'll need to choose a server host name. I'm going to call it Minecraft Bedrock Edition Server. Once you've picked a name, click on deploy on the bottom right hand corner. Your Ubuntu server will then begin installing. You'll need to wait a couple of minutes for it to install. I'll be back when your server is running. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see the status has changed from installing to running. So our Ubuntu server is now running. Alright guys, so now we need to get the login details so that we can SSH into our server. So just left click on your server name and then you'll be taken into your server's dashboard. Scroll down a little and you should be able to see the IP address of your server, your username and your password. Great, so now all you need to do is open up your SSH client. So I'm just going to minimize this browser for the time being and I'm going to open up Putty. For Windows, Putty is a great SSH client. So we're going to need to quickly grab our IP address for our server. So just go back to your browser here and then just copy your server's IP address and open back up the SSH client paste that in and then click open. You'll then be greeted with this putty security alert message. You just wanna click yes on this message here and then you'll be greeted with your SSH terminals login page. Now you'll need to enter in your username. So again, your username is just root, copy it and then to paste in SSH terminals, all you need to do is right click and then press enter. Now you'll need to put in your password. So again, just copy it from the Vulture dashboard and go back into your SSH client, right click and hit enter and now we're SSH'd into our server. Let's maximize this terminal window for the time being. The next thing we need to do is start downloading and installing the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server from the Minecraft website. So I'm just going to open up my browser again here and then I'm going to click the other tab and you need to navigate to the following URL address which is www.minecraft.net slash en dash us slash download slash server slash bedrock. Once you're here, you want to scroll down and on the right hand side you can see Ubuntu server software for Ubuntu. Scroll down a bit more and you'll need to agree to the Minecraft user license and privacy policy. Just tick this box here and then what you need to do is hover over the download button. However, do not left click on it, right click and then copy the link address. Once you've done that, go back to your SSH client and type the following command. wget space and then right click. 
to paste in the URL you just copied. This command will essentially download the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server onto our Ubuntu server. Once you've entered this command, hit enter. And there we go, we've got the bedrock-server-1.16.40.02.zip dash dash file. And this is the Minecraft Bedrock server. We need to unzip this file now. So the next thing you need to do is install a program called unzip. To do this, type the following command, apt space install space unzip. And then simply hit enter. All right, and there we go. We have installed the unzip program onto our server. And now what you need to do is just unzip this file. So just navigate to the top here and copy the name of the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. Make sure you get all the contents, even the files extension. Once you've highlighted it, type the following command, unzip space, and then right click to paste in the Minecraft Bedrock Edition zip file. And now simply hit enter for your server to unzip the contents of this file. And there we go guys, the server has unzipped the Minecraft Bedrock Edition server file and now we are ready to run our server. Go back to your browser here and as you can see there is a command in purple here for the Ubuntu server. You're going to copy this contents of this command. This is actually the command to run our Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. Once you've copied it, go back to your SSH client and then simply right click to paste in the command. And now all you need to do to get your server running is hit enter. And as you can see, it says starting server. And very quickly, it will say server has started. It will then give you four ports that you, guests, and your friends can use to connect to your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. The game, by default, will have port 19132 automatically pre-typed whenever you join a new server. All right, guys, let's open up Minecraft and get in game as quickly as possible. So I'm just going to minimize terminal, minimize this browser, and then double click on the Minecraft Bedrock Edition shortcut on my desktop here. Alright, once Minecraft has loaded, simply click play here. And then on the top right hand corner you will see servers, left click on this. And then scroll down past the featured servers and you should see an option to add a server. Left click on this and then you'll be brought to the add an external server window. Here you'll need to enter your server name, so I'm just going to pick Websplaining as my server name. It doesn't really matter what you enter here, this is just for you. And then for the server address, you're going to need to copy your Vulture server IP. So go back to your browser here, and then go back to this Vulture tab, and then copy the IP address of your server. And then go back in game, and then just paste it in. And for the port, no need to change this, as 19132 is an IPv4 port, and that should be fine. Once you've entered in all this information, click save, scroll down again, and you should see that in the additional server section, you have the Minecraft server you have just added. Left click on it, and then as you can see, it says online, and it's zero out of 10. The current ping is 69 for myself, and the name of it is Websplaining, which is the name I gave it. And now all you need to do is left click on join server to be taken into the world. All right guys, so we've just connected to our Minecraft server. And you may be wondering, how can we change the settings and what's our current rank? So just press escape on your keyboard. On the right hand corner here, you'll see your name and your rank. So just left click on the icon next to your name. And as you can see, it says I'm a member. We want to change our permission level to operator. So I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And I just want to show you the world settings here. So as you can see, as a member of the server, you can't change any of the server's game settings. They're all greyed out. So to be able to configure the game settings and have admin privileges, what you need to do is give yourself operator or op. To do this, you need to tab out of this window here and go back to your SSH terminal. Once you've done that, you'll be brought back to the SSH terminal and here you'll need to enter the operator command. To do this, type the following, op space and then your username. So my username is deadpan ewe 1707 So just type that in. Make sure you pay attention to the caps lock. So I'm just going to type it in now. Once you've typed it in, hit enter. And now, as you can see, the server tells you that it has opt my username. And now if we go back in game here, you should see that we'll be able to change the game mode and the difficulty etc. And if I press escape and then go back to our permission level, as you can see the icon has changed to a crown, so if I just left click on this, you can see that we are now operator, which is the highest level of permission for any given server. Alright guys, that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, 
be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next one. There is one more thing I forgot to mention, and that is if you close your SSH terminal window, so this window here, then your Minecraft server will stop. However, there is a way to get around this, and that is if you install a little program called Screen. So to do this, you need to first stop your server by typing the stop command, and then hit enter. Once you've done that, your server will stop, and now you'll be able to install programs. So type the following to install Screen. Type apt space install space screen. Once you've done that, hit enter. And now all you need to do is run screen. And to do that, simply type screen and then hit enter. Once you've done that, this text will appear on your SSH terminal window. And as you can see on the bottom here, it says press space or return to end. You're going to hit enter. And now all you need to do is rerun your server. Ideally, you should have installed Screen and ran it before running your actual Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. So now let's open up our browser and copy the start server command. So I'm just going to right click on it here and copy and then go back to my terminal. And then all you need to do is right click to paste and then hit enter and your server will start again. All right, great. It said our server has started. We're ready to go back into game now. So I'm just going to click this window here. And as you can see, it says disconnected from the server because we stopped the server to install screen. Just hit OK. And now you'll be brought back to the main menu of Minecraft. And all you need to do now is click play. And then click on servers. Scroll all the way down to additional servers and click on your server name and then click join server. Great, so now we're back into our Minecraft world and now I'm going to close the terminal. So I'm just going to press escape and then open up my SSH terminal. And now if I simply close it and then click OK here and then resume game in our Minecraft world, you can see that the server continues to run. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Why is it so